Hey everybody, it's the Baguette Gal. Happy Wednesday. Wine Wednesday. Um, before I get into anything, um, seeing as when I started with Wine Wednesday, I just want you to know that I have reviewed two wines for you um, on this momentous occasion. Um, and let's just get this out of the way. This wine sucks. This is the Connoisseur um, Viognier. And it was awful, so don't buy it. I think I was disillusioned, well not disillusioned, I was, when I was at Trader Joe's in California last week and the wine was so cheap, you know, I was scared to buy a $5 bottle of wine, but it was so good and that guy was really helpful. Um, and then, so this one was $10 and I think one of my subscribers um, suggested it, I'm sorry. Um, and so I was like, mm, $10, and I was like, well, you know, maybe $10 is fine. Don't do the Viognier. I usually love Viognier's. Um, that, it's a fun word to say, um, and that rhymes, but that sucked. Um, so you're welcome. Don't do it. The other one I have is, I can't pronounce it. It's a San Giovese, San Giovese. It's Italiano. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, and again, when Jackie and I were at uh, Jelena's in Venice, she introduced me to this kind of wine. I'd never had it before. And this one is really good. So I say yes to the Fantini San Givis. That's cool. No Viognier Connoisseur. So now that we've discussed that, um, big news. For most of you probably know, but I discovered myself on Reddit completely organically. Someone, um, Mucho Tai, um, found me and posted about that I'm this person and all I do is review baguettes. And it uh, makes a lot of sense because my Whole Foods review had like over a thousand hits and I couldn't figure out how or why, but I guess that's how and why. So thank you so much, Mucho Tai. Um, a fellow lover of baguettes. Um, there are a lot of us out there, it would seem. So, as per usual, I already did one take of this, or three, and they sucked. Um, it's hard doing it actually without someone. It's nice to like, have someone to like bounce ideas, stupid comments off of. So it's just me tonight, and it's a little tricky. Um, but with that in mind, having said that, um, today's baguette is a special baguette. It's from Nelson the Seagull, and, um, which is on Carroll. It's in Gastown. And I've never been to Nelson and Seagull before. And I've always wanted to go because it looks like such a cool cafe and it's all about bread. And I like seagulls. I feel like, um, I can really relate to seagulls in a lot of sense. Like, they're always squawking. They have french fries in their mouths. Um, so yeah. And this bag, like their sticker, has a seagull on it. So I like that. And it came in totally paper bag. And they even put um, a secondary bag on top because the bag didn't fit the whole baguette. So I asked them to put a bag on top. They did because I was on the bus and I didn't want the baguette getting exposed to any bus air, which is real. And if anyone's ever been in the bus before, you know how gross it is. And I didn't want this baguette to be contaminated by air germs. So, I've tried it. And it's pretty perfect. Like, it's got great 3D, levels of 3D. Um, it's got beautiful color caramelization. It's hard and crusty on the outside but it's soft on the inside, which we love. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was a little bit on the pricey side. I was distracted because a homeless man came in and started stealing water. And I was like, let him live, it's water. Um, so we don't remember how much it cost. Um, it doesn't have dust so much as small red particles on it, which is completely all over my desk. Um, and that's fine. That's fine. 
For the dip, I went down to Be Fresh on Main Street and I picked up um, this Sunflower Kitchen, sorry, it's a fly, edamame hummus with sesame roasted carrots, which seemed like a lot was going on in that flavor combination, but it's actually really good. So I'm gonna do a break for you. So first of all, let's have some of this beautiful Italiano wine. I don't know why I keep saying Italiano, it's so embarrassing. Um, I'm never gonna do that again in public. I will by myself. So, cheers, happy Wednesday, and uh, cheers to Reddit. And cheers to Mucho Tai. Yes, that's a good one. So, let's do a break. Can you hear that? Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, baby. That's a great break, guys. That's right. Okay. And it's like literally getting bread particles all over my my desk. Totally don't care. It's awesome. This is what the dip looks like. Probably not super appetizing right now. It came in a much prettier presentation when I before I started eating it. But you know, it's kind of good in a way to like start eating this before reviews because it can really get a sense of things. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Inside is like a really nice doughy flesh. I'm not sure if that sounds weird or not, but it does. It's good. Mm. I don't know, like so it's kind of like when you break it, there's an area here that's super doughy and then you have like the crustiness here. So there's just something for everybody. And it just like has a nice like meatiness to it. Mm-hmm. Like, I would proudly serve this as a baguette. But the Trader Joe's one was good. But they're just a little bit generic. You know, like, look at that. I can't squish that. It's a sign of good that I get. What else did I get for us? Okay. Um, there were so many cool things going on with last week's review. I wanted to add in a little bit more. So um, I picked up this vegan cheese called Chow Cheese. I got the cheddar one. Um, I've eaten a few slices. To me. So, you know, I want to do it with fresh. I'm not sure if any of you guys have had this cheese before, but I mean, and no disrespect to Daya, I love Daya cheese. This is just like it's a little bit nicer, but Daya cheese is still great. But I just wanted to like put some cheese on the baguette because I miss cheese. I love cheese. And um, I thought, why not? Let's do it. Hmm. The cheese is good. The bread is really good. You know, I love where the vegan cheese is going. I really do. And I love that no animals were harmed, but it's very, like it's got a lot of things going on in there. I don't know. I mean, I think it's good for like Beyond Burgers. On a baguette, I don't know if I'd do it again. I'm really quite taken with this dip. This is really good. I was kind of like, sesame carrot, I don't know. Mm hmm This is great. Nelson the Seagull. And how can you just not love that name? I love it. Nelson the Seagull, you have a great baguette. 
I would say one of the best baguettes in the city for sure. Sunflower Kitchen. Yeah, you rock this hummus. A++. And Fantini. This San Giovese Italian wine. Also great. A perfect, pretty near perfect um, baguette situation is going on tonight. So thank you. I hope that this was informative and useful and um, whatever else you came here for. Um, so yeah, happy, happy Wednesday. Thank you again so much for tuning in and um, liking. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because as soon as I get 100 subscribers, then I can customize my YouTube handle to the Baguette Gal. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers from the Baguette Gal.